All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, shorthand ternary operator. I think some folks might know it also as the, like, the question mark uh, operator. Uh, but let's see what that format or syntax looks like. So it looks like this. All right, so in here I'll just put the condition. So whatever this condition is, it's either going to be true or false. And if it's true, we run whatever's here. If it's false, we run whatever is here. So let me go ahead and show you the more familiar sort of equivalent for it. So if else. So here I'll say five is greater than four. Console that out. We'll say true. Console dot log. False. So now when I run this, I'll see true because five is greater than four. All right. So to basically convert this to a ternary operator, it would look like this. Five is greater than four. So it's gonna produce some value here, either true or false. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign it to a variable. So variable. And we just call this call it TO for ternary operator. And then down here, I'll say console.log TO and clear that, run it true because it's true up here, and then true because it's also true down here. Now let's go ahead and clear this out right quick. Uh, this starts to get a bit more interesting when uh, we expand this a little bit. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to create one function here called function1. And I'll create another function here called function2. This is the call uh, to the function. It's not the actual function itself. What I'll do is I'll create the function up here. So function, function1. and function 2. Now in here, I'll just say return true. And here I'll say return false. So now, depending on this condition here, right, we've got true and false right here because this function is returning true. And this function is returning false. Clear this, run it, and you see true. Okay, so you can already see just expanding this out a little bit. These functions, any one of these can hold any types of, of code for functionality, that sort of thing. And they can return a value, etc., and then pass it in here depending, depending on the condition. And you've not only shortened this a bit, um, but you've also just made it a bit easier to organize. And that's going to be your ternary operator.